السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو ٹریٹمنٹ ود قرآن مائی سیلف حافظ سلمان اینڈ مسٹر گلفام ہیز جوائن اس ایز یوژول سو مسٹر گلفام مینی آف اس مینی آف اس ہیو یو نو دس پرابلم وی فیس دس ایشو دیٹ سم ٹائمز وی سی دا تھنگس دیٹ ایکچولی ڈو ناٹ ایگزٹ اور سم ٹائم وی سفر فرام یو نو فرام آئی ووڈ کال اٹ اے پرابلم آف اسکیٹرڈ تھاٹس مینس وی ڈو ناٹ ہیو no control over our own thoughts so i want to ask you that is it related to black magic is it any kind of magic or it's just a hallucination or imagination what do you think bismillah uh, rahman rahim mr salman scattered thoughts and uh, lack of thinking properly it is not always related to magic mm. sometimes uh, magic is done on thoughts and it is called sahre takhayyul magic of thoughts uh, but always it is not related to black magic sahre takhayyul it is the sihr it is a magic in which sahir controls the kareen of a person kareens you know it means uh, it means companion and allah almighty has appointed uh, angels with every human being mm. which every human being and uh, Uh, that companion that is appointed by Allah Almighty, He directs human beings to do um, to do goodness, to do virtue, and uh, uh, two companions. There are always two companions with one person. One is evil and one is virtuous. The evil one uh, directs human being to do evil things, and virtuous directs human beings to do virtuous things. So in this magic, in this seher. the sahir controls the green the companion of that person then he writes an incantation mm-hmm. so with this incantation and with the support of demon mm-hmm. he controls the thoughts of a person and in this situation different things appear for a person that do not exist in reality mm-hmm. so this is sihr e takhayyul this is magic on thoughts but always scattered thought always they do not indicate that this person is affected by magic this might be a very new thing for and and for me it's it's a new thing uh, what do you think how it is achieved what what is the process behind its uh, you know accomplishment so it is done it is done when sahir um, plays a thing plays a real thing in front of you mm. and then he recites uh, some incantation and uh, then he controls your demons as i said earlier and then the thing will uh, appear in another form the thing that is in real form real form will not appear in front of you but you see the thing in another form that does not exist mm-hmm. so this is the thing this is the way in which the sahir controls your thoughts and uh, he presents different things in front of you that do not exist in reality but it might be about the hyper consciousness of a person as we have you know read different examples in english literature where uh, when a person when a when a character you know he uh, does a bad thing you know he committed a he commits a crime and that thing appears in his mind as you know like hallucination so what do you think that is not a kind of magic so how can we differentiate between these two things or what are the symptoms that can tell us that this is sahr takhayyul or this is the magic of thought i think i think uh... uh you want to you want to make me differentiate between imagination and uh, yeah of magic course. on thoughts mm. so imagination you create magic on yourself and mm. uh, no other force is forcing you to create imagination to imagine a thing that does oh. not exist so imagination is the production of your mind mm. but sihr e takhayyul and the magic on your thoughts it is caused by someone else so mm-hmm. this is the difference between imagination and magical thoughts you are creating imagination by your by on yourself and uh, you know that uh, this thing does not exist in reality for them utopian thoughts mm-hmm. you know i know everybody knows that utopia it is a it is a it is not a reality it is just a product of imagination mm-hmm. so all the things uh, you know that these do not exist in reality but in magic in sihr e takhayyul you think that this thing exists in reality 
Mm. So do you think that or you know there are some specific symptoms of sahara takhayyul? Yes, these are some there are some symptoms of sahara takhayyul. So the first symptom is uh, the person who is affected by sahara takhayyul and magical thoughts uh, as uh, different things appear to him mm. moving. Fixed things appear to him moving and moving things appear to him fixed things. Mm. For example, if a vehicle is moving on the road but the person who is affected by magic of thoughts he thinks that uh, uh, the vehicle is still, the car is still and it's not moving but mm. in reality it is moving. So this is the symptom. And another, another symptom is that large things appear to be small and as small things appear to be easy, to be large. large. So this is second symptom. If a thing is very giant and large, mm -hmm. but the person thinks that it is very small thing and small things appear to be very, very large. So this is the thing. And the third symptom is that there are some things that do not exist, but they, but they take another form in your imagination. Mm -hmm. For example, I let me quote you an incident from Holy Quran uh, when there was competition between magicians and Prophet Moses. Yeah. So Prophet Moses asked them, uh, to proceed their activity and when they throw their ropes they appear the no, like ropes snakes. appear as snakes as yeah. Allah Almighty says in Holy Quran فَإِذَا حِبَادُهُمْ وَعِسِيُّهُمْ يُخَيَّلُ إِلَيْهِمْ مِنْ سِحْرِهِمْ أَنَّهَا تَسْعَى So that were not snakes Those were not snakes though, because those were ropes oh. but they appear snakes mm -hmm. So this is the third symptom that uh, you think that uh, this thing is something else <laughs> but in reality that is something else that is something else so mm -hmm. these are the symptoms uh, in which you can you can you can observe that you can analyze that this person is affected by magic of thoughts and okay mr perform it's very clear now so um, as there are you know diff different kinds of magic is magics with different purposes so is there any uh, you know particular purpose related to this kind of magic or not why it is done uh, mr salman it is related with other kinds of magic a uh, sihr takhayyul is related to uh, sihr tafriq magic of separation between husband and wife mm. and it is related to it is associated with magic of love sihr mahabbat attiwala so why it is done for example uh, if somebody wants separation between a couple between mm -hmm. husband and wife so he will perform magic and after that magic the wife the wife will appear ugly in front of husband mm -hmm. the wife is beautiful the lady is very gorgeous and beautiful but she seems ugly for his for her uh -huh. husband so what is this this yes. is sahre takhayyul separation the purpose mm -hmm. is separation but magic that is has been used is uh, this, ma this magic may you know make them suspicious about one another yes this is the thing mm -hmm. and it is also used in sahari mahabbat in magic of love for example somebody wants someone to love him or herself mm -hmm. and uh, and he performs magic and after that ma magic the person appears so much beautiful in front of that person mm -hmm. so this is sahari takhayyul and it is mostly it is done for separation between husband and wife and to create love between a couple. Okay. And another thing for which magic of thoughts or sahri takhayyul is used, it is used for trickery and to obtain money, to grab money for, from people. Mm -hmm. For example, um, in magic shows, the magician, uh, he performs some acts while he performs to obtain money from those people. So these are the things for which sahri takhayyul is done. Okay, so coming towards, uh, you know, its treatment. How can we revoke it? How can we, you know, uh, abolish this kind of magic? What is the treatment? Simple treatment. Simple of, treatment. Uh, this simple magic? treatment. So to revoke sahre takhayul and to revoke magic of thoughts, uh, you decide aital kursi. Aital kursi is good thing to revoke revoke sahre takhayul and uh, recite azan. And if you cannot recite azan, ask someone else to recite azan for yourself. Mm -hmm. And Try to be in state of wudu. Try to be in state of ablution all the time. Mm -hmm. Because ablution is just like a fort. It's just like a fort against Saturn and satanic effects and thoughts. And recite extra supplications that has been thought been taught by Holy Prophet وسلم, and that are La ilaha illallahu wahdahu na sharika lahu lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamdu wa huma ala kulli shaykh qadir. 
and uh, you can decide and there is another supplication and that is so these are the supplications you can recite and I will kursi and uh, uh, remain and be in state of wudu and uh, recite around. So these are the things which, which you can do. All right. Uh, 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 a hadith just came to my mind. I want to yes. share it with my audience. The Prophet Muhammad said, when you have scattered thoughts, you remember this hadith. Yes. When you have scattered thought, recite A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim. So it's because of satanic effects. Yes. So it all will be removed with these simple supplications and with this simple technique. Thank you so very much.